All right, so I am grabbing my sugar ball right now. And a lot of you guys have asked me recently when to throw out your sugar ball. So that's a great question. And there are two answers to this question. So during the service, you may need to throw out the sugar for any of these two reasons. Now we do use the same sugar ball throughout the whole service, generally speaking, but there are a couple instances when it may benefit you to throw out your sugar ball and to grab a new one. So reason number one is because your sugar has gotten too hard or it's melted. So it's the wrong temperature. So this can happen for a couple reasons. And the number one reason is that you pick the wrong pace for the temperature of the room. So if you choose a pace that is too hard for the temperature of the room, then throughout the service, it's actually going to get hardened and it's gonna get really difficult to mold. It's gonna start pulling the client's hair and it's gonna become very uncomfortable for the client. It may even start hurting your fingers and your fingertips while you're molding. And this is especially prominent during longer services, such as legs, full legs, stomach, and over larger body areas. Because as you're spreading the sugar over larger body area, you are exposing it to more air. Therefore, you're having a higher chance of the sugar actually getting colder if you're in a really cold room. Now, the opposite problem can also happen. Your sugar can melt. Now, if you're in a room that is too hot or too humid for the sugar paste that you selected, then your sugar can actually melt on the client and then the body heat of the client from them being hot is also gonna exacerbate that problem. So with that problem, you're gonna actually have issues flicking the sugar off the client and it can get stuck and it can bruise the client. So the best way to combat this is just to know the room temperature and to be aware of what sugar paste you're selecting. So keep in mind, you can always mix sugar paste for a moderate temperature. I do typically use around a medium paste now, if it's colder, such as the winter months, and I'm doing a larger body area, such as legs, I will select a softer paste so that it doesn't get hard in that cold room during the duration of that longer service. Now, if you're in a room with not the best ventilation, not the best air circulation or air conditioning, then you are gonna wanna pick a harder paste. Sometimes you can mix in a little bit of hard paste with your medium paste, especially if you're doing areas with more body heat, such as Brazilian or underarms and that is gonna prevent that sugar from melting in those sensitive areas. Now, the second reason for you needing to throw out your sugar ball during the service is that it's just simply full of hair. Now, if your sugar paste is completely full of hair, you will notice it, and it actually will inhibit the molding process. So let's say I have this sugar. If this sugar was full of hair from a client, you would actually be able to stretch the sugar and see all of the hairs within that sugar paste. And once that this sugar paste gets completely full of hair, the density of the sugar paste starts to change and it starts to become a little bit thicker and more difficult to work with. So actually me just doing this circular motion, holding my sugar paste will actually become even more difficult because it's gonna feel really hard and it's not gonna be pliable anymore. Now, if that's the case, your sugar is gonna have an issue sticking to the client's skin because there is so much volume of hair in the sugar paste. So if you start to notice that texturally you're seeing just more hair than you are sugar, then you know it's time to throw out that paste and start with a fresh ball. Now this can happen with clients that have overgrown hair. So if they waited a couple months in between services or if we're doing a larger body area with more hair density, then this may be an issue. And it's not a problem to just throw out that sugar and grab a new ball and start fresh. And also be aware when you are holding your sugar ball to always mold in a circular motion when you are holding it and when you're not applying it to the skin. This is gonna prevent you from having that drip. And if you have this drip, then your sugar is eventually gonna either fall on the floor or it's gonna fall on the client and you don't wanna make a mess. So when you're holding your sugar paste in between molding and doing your service, always do this circular motion and try to keep your sugar at the end of your fingertips so notice how my sugar piece is below my knuckles that's your ideal positioning because that's where you have the most control of the sugar ball